Hey teachers, have you ever had a worksheet or a note and you wish that you could take it and make it digital? Maybe you've been given a note or a printout at a meeting and you're afraid you're gonna lose it or maybe you have a worksheet and you would like to make it digital for your students. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use your phone to take a picture of something on a printout and make it digital. Now before we get started, I just want to take a moment to ask you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel. We create all of this content here on my channel completely for free and taking the time to like a video and subscribe to the channel, it enables us to keep creating free content for teachers like you and other teachers around the globe. So thank you so much for taking the time to do that. Now let's go ahead and get into the reason why you are here. Now when it comes to taking a picture of a document and making it digital, I think the easiest thing to use is Google Keep, which is a free Google app. Now, if this is the first time you've ever heard of Google Keep, you might wanna pause and go back to our Google Keep tutorial just to get the basics for how to use it first. I've linked that down in the description. But today, we're gonna look specifically at one of my favorite features inside of Google Keep, which is the grab image text feature. All right, so to show you how to use the grab image text feature, we're gonna use a page from my math interactive notes. My math interactive notes cover math skills for the entire school year. They all include vocabulary, step-by-step -step instructions, visual aids, and practice problems to help students learn different math skills. Each bundle includes interactive notes in both PDF and digital formats so that they can be used with students in all learning environments. These math interactive notes are linked down in the description and versions are available for third, fourth, and fifth grades. So this page here shows step-by-step -step instructions for how to multiply a two-digit number by a one-digit number. And let's say that I have this worksheet and I want to take a picture of the text and then move it over to my computer because I wanna modify it. Maybe I have a Spanish-speaking student and I wanna translate it, or I just wanna modify the instructions a little bit different to accommodate something that I'm teaching in my classroom. To do that, I am going to open the Google Keep app on my phone. After you've opened the app, you're gonna click on the picture icon at the bottom of the screen and click take photo. Then what you're gonna do is you are going to line up the text that you want to convert to digital and take a photo of it. Then you'll click use photo. Now, one thing to keep in mind when you're using this feature is Google Keep is going to convert the text line by line. So for a worksheet like this, where I have different columns, I want to take a picture of all of the text in the column like you're seeing me do. And then if I want pictures of other columns and examples, I'll go back and take separate pictures of those because it's gonna do it line by line. So if I do an entire chart in one image, the things from different columns are gonna get mixed in as it's going line by line. I hope that makes sense, but if you wanna know what I'm talking about, just take a picture of a chart and you'll see pretty quickly. But the next thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna tap on the image so that you see a black bar at the top and the bottom of the image. And when you see those black bars, you should also see three dots at the top of the screen. You're just gonna click on those three dots and you'll see some options appear. Click on grab image text. And when you do that, you will see all of the text from that page appear line by line, just like I told you. And if you go back, you'll actually see the picture is still there and the text is right below it. So you still have the picture as well as that text. Now, one thing you may need to keep in mind when you do this is to make sure to read everything once you grab that image text because it may not be absolutely perfect. I find that it's pretty close to perfect most of the time, but sometimes you do need to go through and just clean it up and tweak it a little bit. So always make sure to read through it before you share it just to make sure that it says what you want it to say. 
Now I'm also going to show you how to take this one step further. Remember we talked about at the beginning of this video that maybe I want to convert this to Spanish, maybe I want to add in some additional instructions. And so the best way to do that is after you've grabbed that image text, you've made it digital, you can actually then quickly move it into Google Docs and then do whatever you need to do with it in there. So we're gonna jump on my computer. I don't have the Google Docs app installed on my phone. Um, if you do, you can probably just do all this on your phone. So we're gonna jump on my computer. I'll show you how to quickly send this over to Google Docs and how you can edit it in there. And then we'll wrap this video up. All right, so here we are inside of my Google Keep account and you can see here's the image and the grab image text that I showed you on my phone. Now to move it into a Google Doc, all you're gonna do is click on the three dots and click on copy to Google Docs. And you'll see that when you do that, it automatically begins copying over and then you just click open doc. The picture will appear and all of the text will under it. So I can actually delete the picture out and now I can work with this text to customize it, modify the document to maybe make it better for my students or send it to them digitally. We have another video here on this channel where we talk about Google Chrome extensions and we do talk about some translator extensions that exist. So there's lots of different things that you can do once this text has been converted. All right, so the grab image text feature in Google Keep has so many practical uses, especially for teachers. Some of the things we've talked about already is it's easy for you to then translate your documents. It's easy for you to make modifications to resources that you have. It makes it easy for you to convert a resource like this over to digital. And it also makes it easy for you to share notes and documents with colleagues or parents or anybody that you might need to share something with. These are just a few ways that you can use it. But I would love to hear from you as well. I'm sure you've probably thought of ways to use this resource that I haven't even thought of. So go ahead and share those down in the comments below. And then I do also wanna let you know that we've got a few other Google Keep videos here on this channel. Uh, like I said before, we've got a basic Google Keep tutorial if you wanna learn what all the different features are and how to use it. We've also got a really fun video that shows you how to customize your Google Keep notes. You may have noticed that I had custom headers on all of my notes. I'll show you how you can create and add your own custom headers. That video is also linked down below. But until next time, happy teaching.